guys welcome back to my channel I'm going to show you how to create this happy birthday card and if I zoom in this is what my final piece is I've created a flowery card with birthday blooms in, on the side and then happy birthday in the middle and then that's for the front and then for the back I've created make your wishes come true um, and I've added like a vintage style flowery background on the back of the card so first of all I'm going to show you So first of all I've created a template in Photoshop and basically this is just two rectangles um, as you can see here. Uh, they're just rectangles from the tools palette and you can create this in the A4 document. So uh, 210 by 297. Um, uh, so, so what you do is go to File, New. 210 width, 297 height, and then 300 dpi resolution, and it should be on CMYK color, and then click create, and then create the two rectangles, and then um, add another rectangle for the bleed area, uh, if you want to print it out or something. Um, so first of all, you need to create a. Um, for, so for one rectangle, it will be the back, and one rectangle will be the front in the layers palette here. And so first of all, what you want to do is you can create any artwork as you, anything you like for a birthday card, but for this tutorial, I'm going to make it quite girly. So it's for a, a girl. It's a, a birthday card for a girl. So first of all you want to go file open and I've selected some girly backgrounds and select this one, press open and then you just want to drag the size and then go over the top of it so and then what you want to do is right click on the layer and go to create clipping mask and then this will clip into the square and then what I want to do is create opacity so make it about 45% and then I want to add a watercolour so if I'll open find the watercolour background press open drag it over and then control T transform and then put it on top of that layer that's okay drag down to the where the front is and then you've got a bit of a watercolour vintage style on top of it 
and then what you want to do is add text. So mine's going to be black writing, it's going to be happy birthday. Don't worry if it goes all, all over the top. And then press the move tool and then press command T to transform. Move this. And then size. And then press OK. Make sure that's a black colour. It is a black, it's probably because it's not on top of the background, so you know, over the top like that. And then what we want to do, centre that a bit, so that's alright. And then um, I want to find a flowery background for the back of the cover. So we'll go file, open. Drag this on top, then Command T, transform. I'm going to put this over the top, press OK, and then this will be the back. So that's down there. Okay. Now that's in the clipping mask now. So I've already added May Your Wishes Come True as a little comment on the back of the card. So we want to change this colour of the font. Add this. Add the colour um, swatch to the background and see where the the nearest colour is to that. So maybe a purplish in between pink and purple. If they can see it. Maybe a bit darker. That looks good. And then that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel. Um, and comment down below if you found this helpful and if you have any other questions about cards please ask me and I'd love to hear back from you. Okay bye, thank you for watching.